What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Duo here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Dang It Up 2. Goodbye, Despair. Um, yeah, this is not looking like a goodbye despair moment. It's the, it's the, the despair disease is out and about. And Buki has gullibilitis. Um, Nagito has liaritis. And Akane has cowarditis. Um, so at least we don't have to worry about one of them. Um, I do feel bad, though, for Akane. I feel the most bad for Akane. Because after what just happened, I can understand why she got what she got. But, ugh. I feel, I feel terrible. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito to... She doesn't even notice I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan? Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned towards me and focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> It looks like you finally noticed. <laughs> Please don't surprise, surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Um, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he was doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That would be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. Um... I'm starting to get energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. She's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided just to shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Nikon than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Yeah. Nagito's probably doing not doing so well. What about you? Are you done with the transmission? As I expected, it wrapped up quickly. Like they had nothing new to report. And they apparently are trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any made progress made. So on both ends, it looks like we've had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh well, let's look forward to tomorrow. We're, that's all we gotta do. We, we don't have any other choice. With a desperately heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. My worries have piled so high that just one sigh isn't enough. And the more I think about it, the more I'm slowly sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess today, I should just go sleep. It's best to not to dwell on it too much. Unfortunately, that is the case, but... And not just that. The first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time and slowly closed my eyes. Monica with theater time. Out of the blue, a hazy scene became to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took time, hazily. The watercolor paint suspended in the water, slowly, hazily. Whoa! There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted in Hope Peaks Academy. But, was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully star staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Huh? No what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. The place I deserve to be. Not here. The place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible, so he's the same too. Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Peaks Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write that check. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Whoa. Hey, hey. 
Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm going to tell you my personal failure. In a wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. And that is why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. And when my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. The letter is written with special ink. Only those chosen by the god can see it. <laughs> When I said that, he was all like, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started to look bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really read that letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as divine messenger of the god. And eventually he was worshipped by the society and now he uses his followers to sell shady bases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of a personal failure. What did you think about it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, you want to buy this base? And it's in pretty high demand, you know. And I'll give you a deal because I like you that much. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, it's not just heavy. It's so much soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Again? <laughs> Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. Oh my God. Consciousness? Oh, am I so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Mikon, well, why are you... Why are you here? The Monokuma Mountain announcement hasn't aired yet. Huh? Now that you mention it. Whoa, 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 I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep again. What kind of accident is that? But good news. You see, Nakito's condition has stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let him go, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh, yeah. My lock is still broken. Thanks, Sabuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Yeah, I got it. I quickly got dressed, headed over to the hospital with Mikon, although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh, well. Best not to think about it. Um. Nagito is in the pa his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Okay, fine. Oh boy. There I saw Nagito who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hayame came to see how you were doing. The twin Ibukis are singing. I see. A Buki must have been a twin duo. The Veronica's. Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing the characteristic as twins, and they have been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronica's. That's the answer. Hmm, after seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet just a little longer. Me, am I so glad. I am so relieved that Nakito has regained consciousness. Wah, I'm so glad. Oh, I feel dizzy. Somehow everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without sleep, right? Then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must mentally be mentally exhausted. It's so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's the morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit and left the room. 
She definitely is exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hayame, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry. I am leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. Then hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Yeah, I'm leaving as soon as possible. I could care less about Nagito, to be honest. The morning, Mo the morning Monokuma announcement should have been started soon. I should wait in the lobby for the transmission. How early is it? Huh? The surveillance unit light is blinking, but that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. The light is blinking. It re received some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. All right. Even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button in the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the back of the, of the curtains. Felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is that light from a candle? But what was the creepiest thing of all was a rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. Well, what is this? I didn't understand at all. What is going on at that music venue? And that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen. Chills ran down my spine, as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. And began climbing on the stepladder. Slowly, slowly they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope and hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment, huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle was the only source of light and it had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What is going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry to the music venue. I rushed over to the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the trans transmission was made. A body has been discovered. Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning. Oh. Now then, let's. Just now? That was the morning Wanakuma announcement? Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to go to the music venue. Unfortunately, we do. I knew something bad was going to happen. Just didn't expect this. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Please, please let me make it. I started the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Yeah! Oh my god! I had a feeling it was going to be her... I had a really big feeling that's who the- oh, fuck. There goes another one of my A-tiers. Fudge. As soon as I saw the hospital gown, I was like, somebody really told her to commit death. Oh, but who would do such a thing? And if it was Nagito, which I totally wish that it was, but it probably wasn't. Who would have told her this? What the hell is this? I got the hot air inside the music venue and I couldn't help myself from shouting, hot air. Why is it so hot? It was, this was strange hot air inside the music venue. No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Ah, oh, the body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. Why has nobody noticed yet? Then I need to hurry and let the others know. 
From here, the motel is close by. There's a lot of able-bodied people that were able to help there. I should hurry. Uh, I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying to desperately not trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. Gundam. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket. So it was you. Gundam, I have something, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't, I let, won't you. let you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It is worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Could it be? Ba body could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse all of us? Hold it. Hold on. Hayame, is this true? Of course it is. Isn't it obvious? Chiaki, you could have seen... You have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend has the same symptoms as him. But, still. but there's no way we shouldn't check it out, because if Hayame is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? Yes. Uh, a killing! Hey. If that's true, then we need to check it out. If this is, that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave, Leave this to place me. to me, and your friends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um, that sounds like the famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yeah, it's better we hurry, right? Yeah. Who told Abuki to do this? Uh, Hajime, Mikon, why are you here? Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Help us. Uh, Hayame, someone's coming from over there. Huh? Hayame and Chiaki, what are you guys doing here? Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? No shit. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Abuki. Looking for Abuki? Um, I was planning to rest in the all-call all call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before that, and Abuki's missing from the hospital. All of a sudden... Huh? Perhaps. So what did Hayame was saying earlier? Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Hmm? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask and just follow me. Huh? music venue. Is, is Abuki going to be there? Yes, but not the manifest that you want to be, Mikon. Who told her this? I'm actually upset. Some She didn't do it herself. Someone genuinely told her to, like, do a bad. Is Abuki inside here? Yes. The only way to know is to go inside and confirm. If that hang body is really a bookie, it is. It is. That's I literally saw her hair and her nails. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand towards the door. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through just minutes ago. <laughs> then now? why don't we try from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? <laughs> I don't understand it myself, Let's but go. if it won't open, then the other th only thing we can do is force our way through. I wonder if that's going to be possible. The four of us, of the four of us, two are girls, you know? It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Right. Let's go. We're all, we all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go. As soon as you can see, no, we charge the door at full force. Bam. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with the two girls here. All right, one more time. At Fuyuhigo signal, we charge to the door one more time. Slam. It was like a live performance had just ended. The moment of silence just before the audience breaks out into a thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Whoa! A double kill? There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body suspended... A suspended body belonging to Hiyoko. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no! I literally said two to... Oh, I literally was like... We haven't had a situation where there's a lot of killings yet. Here we go! A body has been discovered. Now will you play it again? After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will be... Theoretically, he's going to have to put it, say it again. There it is. There it is. A body has been discovered. Now then, after
after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. So two deaths. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means the hang body with a hemp bag on its head. Kyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. Ah! Well, what is this? What? Kyoko and who the hell is the one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. The only I only saw the hang body over there. Not even ten minutes had passed, but still, why? What is this? Impossible, 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 impossible! It's impossible for killings to happen on this island! Shut the hell up! Shut up, idiot! This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes. But... What about a, what about preserving the scene of the crime? Who freaking cares about that? Um, There's a control panel with the baton lining on the wings at the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one. Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the button on the control panel. With a motorized sound like a growl of starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. And with... It descended enough for us to reach it. All of us work together to lower the body. Now I'm going to take off the head bag, okay? Even though I expected it, I still did not want to confront that reality. Under the head bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! This is my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. You're wrong. It is not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What's the matter? Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. Hey. You finally showed up. The root of all the evil. What the how dare you call your big brother the root of all evil. Even if I want the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone. Ah, are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? Ibuki and Hiyoko? What? Two people have been killed. What? Whoa there. That's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? This is troubling. Looks like a serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I can't believe it. They did such a horrible thing. Nakido and Akane, are you okay? Oh, that mother fricker. Literally made it so that way their disease was cured and once somebody was dead. Oh, that mother fricker. Huh? Of course. What do you mean, of course? No way. Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys was... That stuff is totally over now. Hey. Over? Yeah, because I got bored. For that silly reason. <laughs> and now the killing game has started. And there is no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, the despair disease is gone now. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. You say? What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So let's get back to the main topic and proceed as usual. I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. Again? We have to do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, it means that one of us killed these two. Then we cannot let this be. Why do we? Why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. And if we don't do anything, we'll be executed. Uh, um. Abandon your over-dependence and complaints this instant. There's no place for the, in, that in this world. But what about Nekamaru? What's going to happen to him? He's not going to participate this time. Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekamaru! Huh? That's, weird. That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering effects of the despair disease. Nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you have the liar disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe. Leave it to me. Please leave Nekamaru to me. Everyone must focus on the investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nekamaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems you should leave Nekamaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need to do it? I'll stay. I don't feel good just yet. Um, um it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsies again. Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um, 
then let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us died to this. But for those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Huh? Like I've been putting up with this for a while. Hey! But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. Ah! Oh, seriously, I can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under the cloud of grumbling plates. But is it really hot? In fact, it's sweltering hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokunuma file. There are two victims this time. Ibuki, Miyota, and Hiyoko, Sayanji. Ibuki, Miyota's cause of death is a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no external injuries. Hiyoko, Sayanji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. It appears her death was instant. What the? Is this it? I already knew the cause of death at the beginning, so why is this isn't going to be a useful clue? Mm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, more importantly, you kill... The more people you kill, the more clues you're going to leave, right? Mm. So I don't think it's necessary to kill two people and take that kind of a risk. I agree with that. Mm. Or is the reason they had that they had to kill the two people. A reason for killing two people. Regardless of something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so I will out. definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I prefer that she had more confident sounding catchphrase. The shattered remains of the machine are spread all over the floor. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Kazuichi put the music, or put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm. Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, even if they know that they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of the camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this. Then, what is that thing that I saw? Surveillance camera unit. Has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. <clears throat> the black curtain hanging from the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough. It can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It's probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See that back of the curtains taped for temporary use? It's just like it's, it's just like the curtain of the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring the curtain from the supermarket? Oh. If they went that far, this is probably something the killer really needed for the crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Abuhi's body lay atop the stage. She was wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? What's that on Abuhi's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Abuhi. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Blood on the Souls is out of the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. Damn right. Hey, Hayame, can I talk to you for a second? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of the hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead, so she was hanging on the top from the rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Well. This helps. There's no time of death written on the Monokuma file this time. So it really, I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, the estimated time of the death wasn't written on the Monokuma file this time. But I should know that Ibuki died because I was personally saw it. In the video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Even Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyako's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time, so there's no way that's a coincidence. 
The stepladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used on the video I saw. Ah, uh, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's blood on the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then that must be Hiyoko's blood. That's what I was thinking. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. A bloodstain probably belongs to Hiyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. Wait, does that mean... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Stepladder's been added to the truth bullet section. <clears throat> candle. The candle that we saw. There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in the video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this is this huge makes it perfect for lighting, but they didn't bother using a candle. They could have used the normal stage lighting. Candle's been added to the truth bullet section. Hyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She wrapped up against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it, st it has stopped bleeding, probably because the duct tape was wrapped around it. But why is Himo Hiyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled, and her sash is tied up in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hiyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hiyoko's body there. If that's the case, Hiyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But it was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible the killer killed Hiyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it also had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during the time, right? I don't... I think Hiyoko died prior. Ah, uh, hi, Ame. Do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Get out of the way. No, I don't wish to be in your way at all. But there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually, if you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Kyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Kyo Kyoko's kimono. Huh? huh? That's exactly Why? it. Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know. Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem now that she's dead? Fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just ask someone else. Hey, hey Akane? Yo. Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. Looks like there's something inside Hiyoko's kimono. So, can you feel around for that? What? Hmm. I don't really understand, but I gotta check Hiyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other in such a one is such a wonderful thing. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hiyoko as her she stuck her hand inside of Hiyoko's kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach it with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. There is something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looked different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her hotel room. The key to her motel room, huh? If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it, it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a tarp, then they would put more towards the front of her kimono, so we'd notice easier. Which means we can conclude that this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Hotel room key has been added to the truth bullet hey. section. Ah, uh, also, it's not like I'm adding that to, or to that or anything. But you look like you were curious about the condition of Hiyoko's body, right, Hayame? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true that several mysteries regarding her body. Well, well just hear me out for a second. All of those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hiyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? I don't really know if there was a true intention, but I guess that's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting to compress it, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would have a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? 
the hemp bag, upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't any normal bag. The rope that was tied to the baton lighting, or lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with the rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope. No unnatural features. But despite the fact that this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there, which means it was obtained from the supermarket. Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained the rope, and it means that it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mekon, do you have a moment? Um, uh, what's happened? Uh, There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by the rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt that she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw it since she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Rope used for hanging has been added to the truth bullet section. I'm going to talk to Chiaki because that's all I think I can do left. <clears throat> With her arms crossed and thoughtful look on her face, Chiaki was silently staring at stage four. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm -hmm. Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. See? If you looked closely... You're right. There's, there's a smudge as if there was. it was wiped off. Wait. This isn't something. This is a blood stain. Yep. Well, a blood stain stain isn't strange if Hyoko's neck was sla or slashed not far from here. But still. Rather not, or rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... They were trying to hide it. They wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off the blood stain. So what is the killer trying to hide? Smudge on the floor. There should still be things I need to investigate. Oh. Why is it 86 degrees in here? Hello? There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. Seems like you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, it was used to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of lighting, the video in the music venue I saw, it had a dim candlelit ambiance to it, and it didn't have any lighting that was used at all. Why didn't it use this lighting? Was there some reason it would have inconvenienced them? So I see. So you noticed too, fiend. Huh? Noticed. Oh, so you didn't notice? Hmm, are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed the Arabid item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the lighting of the baton. <laughs> so you finally noticed. I can't really see it from here, but I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... Hmm, there's no Go need. Go, Mirage Golden Hawk. Jump! Now it's time for you to take flight. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four divas of destruction. The hamster launched itself on Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting from the ceiling in a flash. Choo-choo! It started running around and stuck a slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downwards and it definitely caught my Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow. wow, that's amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They are my four dark divas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. Then what is this paper? Five. Hmm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper. Though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. Hmm, it appears to be nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean... The fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Thick scrap of paper. And then the fact that it's 86 degrees. This looks like the music venue AC unit. That's right. 
You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. All right, I should mess around with it a little like so. It's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, why is it so damn, now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater now. That should be cool off, off things a little. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what the frick? Why is it so hot? Is it gonna be people's accounts now? Probably. <laughs> Staff only. Looks like it's like the inside of a storage room. Might as well investigate here too. You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror that big, it'd be easy to check how you look. There's a lot of stickers with the venue logo placed here. They made a bunch of them. Too many, it feels depressing. Huh? Compared to last time, it feels like there's a lot less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? No, you're not. There's carpeting, wallpaper, and on the paint shelf, it's probably used for storage decorations. Hmm? Thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf. Looks like wallpaper. There's a lot of stickers pasted all over the front of the side of the wallpaper. And the edge of this wallpaper. It looks a little torn, but what does that mean? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about the guitars and drums, but there's also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. Nagito, did you come here to investigate this storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? So is he trying to stand guard hey. here? So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on the stage, the duct tape behind Kyoko. They probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from this storage room that may be used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just saying you're going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side who whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. What? That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really, you might end up confusing me again. You don't want to find the truth. You just want to make me suffer. Me. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll gladly become the enemy. I won't mind when I... Er, and I won't mind when I die. Damn it. That's the main reason why. I can't overlook this this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll rely on my gut feeling. Gut feeling? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first. And wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. As he said that, Nagita walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why this sudden interest in the movie theater? Um, I guess it has everything important in the store- Or I guess that's everything important in the storage room. I guess we should go back to the music menu. Yeah, we should. And I'll probably say that there's more to investigate. Yep. Again, I really think it's just gonna be people's perspectives. Damn right. Hey, Jaime, take a look at this. Hmm, what? Huh? Look at what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks broken. What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, <laughs> you think that might be a really big clue? Why would it be a clue? Hey. Remember when you came into the, we came into the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. The four of us, two girl, two of us are girls, you know? It doesn't matter what we can do or not. We have to try. Let's go. Go! We are able to open the door. That's how it was locked. The door was locked when we tried to go inside. And that's... Then the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out the door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? 
The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, do you think the drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how would the killer be able to get out? Huh? I mean, if the music venue doesn't have any windows, this door is the only entrance. And if they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Maybe. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door as a music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they tend to use tricks like that a lot in the mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence that, of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely going to find it and I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like he said, that might be possible, but... I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki... That was kind of a cool entrance. Well, Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is that? See? Looks like a weird blob right where the we, where the right and left door touch. You're right. What is this? It looks firm to, or too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but as she said that, Chiaki bent down and scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. No. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Hmm, choo-choo. Uh, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness? I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it will be a glob from the start. For instance, this was originally a liquid that hardened into this. It might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly to the gaps of the door. But what are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought. It tastes nasty. Shiaki spat out the glob into her mouth and l left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, is it okay to consider this as some kind of clue, right? Semi-transparent glob has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Only I noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nahito's room, when I went on to the on-call room, then it came to me that I should go check on how everyone at the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so, I went to the patient room and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran to the hospital. So that's what happened. And then... I saw Fuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could look, help me look for Abuki. Huh? That reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That's a long story. A what? I'm sorry. It is not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I would doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right. We were totally together until you went to the on-call room. That's right. We were together until a little before the morning Lanakuma announcement. So, so, I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. Um... It's all right if I continue with my autopsy. If you... If you talk to me again later, I will tell you what I know. So p please, spare my life at least. What the heck happened to not doubting me? Mikon's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. All right, with this, we might be close to finish it, or be finished investigating the music venue. I still need to talk to Mikon, and I need to make sure I get those autopsy results for her. Or from her. How about it, Mikon? Have you found anything by now? To tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. But it's not my fault. The music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat, is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, it won't be able to determine the precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up the time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. What? Even if the heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what the order of the murders occurred. First it was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. As long as this isn't an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. Huh? An imitation murder? Uh -huh. huh? You don't know, Hayame? I thought everyone already knew. See? It is a murder where the killer uses creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It is so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start getting annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order, the way that they were killed it is clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instinct. The inception is the imitation murder is the reason that the killer killed two people? Mm. The goal of the imitation killer, even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if you really, if it, this really was an imitation murder of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This, too this is certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a second. What are you talking about, an imitation murder? The one more person might have been killed? <laughs> are you guys worried that there's going to be 
another victim? Then no worries! Things would get out of hand if too fast if a bunch of people could get killed at once. I am a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. Ahem. On this killing school trip, the same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? You mean, you've added another rule. Yep. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, then the blacken would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yep. A new rule. This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will be no more killings. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just wanted to confirm that the class trial rules. Mm. I see, I see. As I expected, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all. And I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? huh? So... Like I said, I am taking it, talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hiyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we only choose one based on the majority vote, the other person would certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about the case where there's three incidents instead of two, and four incidents overlap one another? Silence. Shut up! It is okay. I will make extra sure that something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it is safe to say that it applies to this case too, right? Wow. Huh? Like Alright, fine, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have to figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint and she made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess it narrows things down yep. a little. Yep. That makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means the third victim would be impossible in imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds like so strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Uh, could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? Like I said, that movie. When we first explored this island, Monica Mo was passing our invita out invitation tickets. Then the invitation is... Of course, the imitation of is of that movie. Well, well, based on the murders this time, it is closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see. Now you have mentioned something about that. You... I see. You haven't seen it. Still, it is not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea to watch the movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should be going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Where did you intend on going next, Tiaki? Probably the hospital for sure. The first victim of Buki was there, and I don't know what was going on in that hospital in the first place. Right. Thanks to the mysterious bear disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital as well. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hiyoko's death, I should try going to the, over to the motel. There's a lot of things that I can do before the class trial, so I'll definitely give it... Uh, my all until the end and that will all be what will and that is what we'll be doing in the next episode of danganronpa 2 goodbye despair we'll be investigating the motel we'll be investigating the hospital and we'll be going to the movie theater in order to see what is going on with the movie lots to still happen before we get into this trial thank you guys so much for watching love you all so very much and we'll see you in the next one